I don't know all the things about Chameleon Air, but I know that he was a one hit wonder where it blew up and he made a bunch of money. But his one hit came after years and years and years of him producing content, doing shows, putting himself out in the marketplace. And he was on the internet in 2002 with the website, getting memberships, getting emails. We're in 2023 and so many of us still only have a 200 person email list. And back in 2002, when the internet was in its infancy, he had 30, 40,000 people. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vikram Duell, and today we are going to discuss the long game. What does the long game mean? Why are you talking about it? And who cares? Well, most people get into business or entrepreneurship because they want to make quick bucks, right? They want to make the fast cash. And that's just not how it works, y'all. You have got to start planning your dreams around a decade, around two decades, around three decades, right? Imagine if you said, no matter what, I'm not giving up. I don't care if it takes me a year, three years, five years, seven years, nine years, 10 years, 11 years. But most people say, I'm going to try something for three months and then they give up. They quit too soon. There's a rapper by the name of Chameleon Air. And I don't know all the things about him, but I know that he was a considered a one hit wonder. But his one hit came after years and years and years of him producing content doing shows, putting himself out in the marketplace. And then he had a one hit wonder where it blew up and he made a bunch of money, but it wasn't the one hit that made him rich. It was the fact that he was in it for the long haul. He was in it for not just to be rich, but he wanted to create wealth. He wanted to build businesses. He studied the market. He was on the internet in 2002 with the website, getting memberships, getting emails, we're in 2023 and so many of us still only have a 200 person email list. And back in 2002, when the internet was in its infancy, he had 30, 40,000 people. So when we look at the long term, right? And we look at what we're trying to do. Are we trying to build wealth? Are we trying to get rich? Do we want to look rich or do we want to be wealthy? I will say that I was a type of person who wanted to look rich. I wanted to go out and be in the nice places, have the nice clothes, drive the nice cars, live in the nice houses. And I did all that. And nothing's wrong with that if you make a lot of money. But if you take that same money and you invest it, which I should have done when I was in 2011 and my uncle said, buy everything, it's so cheap. And he tripled, quadrupled his wealth in the last 10 years. Instead of buying the cars and the Range Rovers and the shirts and the shoes and all the stuff, that doesn't matter, my life would be different. I'm not saying that my life isn't great and I'm not saying yours isn't, but we have to start making a decision. Do we wanna look rich or do we wanna be rich? I see so many people wearing somebody else's initials around their waist. Why would you put somebody else's initials on your crotch? That's so weird, put your own. I mean, I don't want any initials on mine personally, but you do you boo. So do you wanna be wealthy? Do you wanna create wealth? Or do you want to look like you're rich? Because if you're in it for the long haul, if you're in it to make money for generations, that means you have to really love what you're doing. You got to be passionate about what you're doing. You got to be like, oh my God, I don't care what happens. I'm going to show up and do it. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how sad you are, no matter how depressed you are, because let me tell you, when you start building businesses, it is lonely. Whether you want to be the all-star real estate agent, or you want to have the gyms, or you want to have the restaurant franchises, or you want to be the Airbnb king, whatever it is, it is going to suck some portion of your life out of you for a period of time. And if you are not in it for the long haul, you will quit. Absolutely quit. The number one way to build self-development, right? The number one way to get yourself developed, start a business. Hire some people, get some customers, and then let them get pissed off. Let me tell you, when your team is upset with you, it's like your spouse hates you. It hurts. It sucks. Or if you hire the wrong person and then you got to fire them, it hurts. It sucks because it's a portion of your ego that's like, oh my God, 
I made a bad choice. And guess what? As an entrepreneur, you're going to make bad choices. You're going to fail. You're going to struggle. But if you want to develop yourself personally and you want to see what you're made out of, open a business, start a career where you are hiring other people, where you are responsible for the marketing, the billing, the inventory, the sales, the delivery, the product, the customer service. Do that and see what life is like. Chamillionaire now worth something close to 50, 60, 70, 100 million dollars invested his time as a young man studying. He wasn't out there trying to be flashy. He was trying to figure out how do I make money without selling my soul? That's what he figured out because in the rap game, in the music game, the labels take 60, 70, 80% of the money and they leave the artist with five, 10, 15%. They don't drive the cars on the TV. They don't drive the cars in the show. They don't drive the cars in their videos. They don't have all the bling bling gold chains. A lot of that stuff's rented. They don't fly private, but they look rich and their album sells a lot, but they don't get a lot of the money because they didn't study the game of finances. They studied the game of looking rich. They studied the game of, hey, how do I get eyeballs for the labels? Chamillionaire studied the game of how do I create wealth through my own brand? And in 2023, I talk to my clients all day long about building their brand, building their brand, become famous. Fame is the best business model. If you want to make a lot of customer, if you want to get a lot of customers, right, become more famous. Chamillionaire figured out in the early 2000s how to have a platform, how to create content that people wanted, and then how to monetize that content in a way where he took the lion's share, or at least he got 50-50 of it, and he let the other people take 50%, but they put up all the risk. He learned to become joint partners with them, joint ventures with them. You guys, we have got to get smarter when it comes to our money. We've got to keep more of it in our pockets, right? I know too many realtors who make hundreds of thousands of dollars on paper, but they have zero to show at the end of the day for it. They work so hard for everybody else to get rich. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Mercedes, right? I know realtors who make three, four sales a year, but they drive a German car. Who are you impressing? You don't have enough clients to impress. Just get real. Get real. Stop trying to impress people who don't give a shit about you. They don't care about you. You think the owner of Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Prada and Hermes cares about you buying their $300 belt so that you can wear the same belt every day and feel cool? No, they don't care. You think all the people out there know who you are, that you buy their jerseys that are $100 jerseys? Do you think they know your name like you know their name? Nope. You know their stats better than you know your own business stats. That's the crazy shiz. I talk with my clients. I'm like, hey, let's talk about your numbers. Oh, well, we didn't have a chance to do them this week. And I'm like, oh, well, let's talk about like your favorite actor or Bollywood star or your favorite sports star or your favorite team. And they're like, oh, yeah, let's talk about it. Do you know their stats? I'm like, they're like, yeah. I'm like, so, you know, somebody else's stats, but you don't know your stats. So you want to act rich, but you don't really want to be rich. You want to pretend to make money, but you don't really want to make money. Right. I know people who go to the gym. They go to the gym every day, 60 minutes. They don't look a damn different than they did two years ago. In fact, I know people who go to the gym and gain weight because they say, oh, well, I go to the gym. I can eat what I want now. That's a load of horse poop. You know it and I know it. If you want to change your life, you have to change the habits in your life. If you want to become wealthy, we have to stop trying to look rich. We have to stop trying to be the rappers wearing the gold chains and the Louis Vuittons and all that shit. It don't fucking matter. What matters is, is are we building generational wealth? Are we building generational health? Are we teaching our families and our friends around us to become better? I can tell you I have a positive ripple effect on the people around me because I don't talk a lot of bullshit. I talk a lot of shit, but I don't talk a lot of bullshit. I talk the truth and we have deep conversations. I might not know everything about them, but I know that when we leave each other, we've made each other better. So do we want to be more like a millionaire 
who actually took his name, not because of being a millionaire, but do you want to be more wealthy or do you want to look wealthy? Do you want to have money or do you want to look like you have money? Because I'll tell you a lot of the real estate agents out there that look really successful ain't got nothing. And then there's a lot of real estate agents out there, right? When they're working, they dress the part, but when they're chilling, they're chilling. They're not trying to flash all the, all this fanciness, but let me tell you, they got a lot of money in the bank. So you have a choice in life. You can look rich or you can be rich, right? Most people want to look rich. They don't actually want to be rich because the being rich part takes sacrifices. Now there are people that are both, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot more people that look really wealthy, but ain't got nothing. And they're not even willing to do the work to get it. They're not willing to put in the hours. So if you want to be rich and your dad isn't got a last name of Bezos, then you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to put in the hours. You're going to have to put in the studying and it's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. You guys, if you like this content, do me a favor, hit a like, drop a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.